Hey, what's up, guys? Never bored of getting gaming. We are back. Going to be doing some drifting. Four to seven. And we're going to be discussing my dog effect. See if we can't get in any of these guys in a lot of this. Join the discussion. More than likely not. But we will see. See if we can make it happen. If anybody strips them right now, also. If not, we'll just have to do it as solo. We're not aware of what Mandela effects are. Theory revolving around Mandela effects, quantum effects is essentially what I've learned and what I've gathered throughout the years of researching, talking to people, looking up stuff. Essentially, Mandela effects, quantum effects are like times when you have deja vu in your life, but it feels like it's different from before, or a moment or event that you've experienced with somebody else, but you too we call it significantly different. The reason why it's called Mandela Effects a lot of people initially started having issues or problems with Nelson Mandela. And there was a debate whether he died, I think it was 2006, or whether he died in 2012, I believe it was. Whether he died in captivity when he was in prison, or when he was out, and when he got older, I believe it was what it was. It's been a while since I really looked into this stuff and researched it, but I have been keeping up, and over time, I've noticed things will change. Uh, for example, Luke, I am your father. It was no longer Luke, I am your father. It was no, I am your father. And then when you go and look it up now, it's back to being a Luke I am And I find it quite interesting. Quite interesting is what made me want to look this stuff up, have the discussion again. Does not seem like anybody's drifting right now, or the lobby's closed for some reason. Usually there's about five, ten people during the day. There are many different theories, different reasonings to why Mendel effects are happening or occur with people noticing them. And what the mainstream media, what scientists will lead you to believe is that the person is having issues or problems with their reality and that It's, it's not an actual thing. It's, it's, it's a theory. It's discussed like there's something to it they don't necessarily know. So anybody who takes note or talks about it is generally a conspiracy theorist or a typical hapler. And I find it interesting anytime you look into things, um, ask questions, about reality, consciousness, even religion for that matter, if you're considered a conspiracy theorist or, you know, a temple half or if you're thinking outside the box of the norm of what the average, everyday, normal society thinks or discusses. I remember as a kid, 
not really looking into things, not being really educated or directed upon critically thinking. Um, my dad, middle class, we, we went from being poor to middle class. Majority of my life we were poor, and then when it was like 12, 13, we started getting up in the middle class. Um, my dad remarried, separated from my mom, and then met my stepmom. Alright, so I guess we're just going to have to do some thrift practice. Nobody's drifting right now, it looks like. So we'll just do a couple. We might just upgrade a Ferrari, actually. I don't want to make a different Ferrari. With that being said, like I was saying, I grew up in that. And my dad was a truck driver. And I remember here and there him talking about, like, the man, the government, you know, you gotta be careful, they're always trying to put you down. But it wasn't like in a way to like steer me into wanting to look into it. It was more just like griefs and like concerns about things. My dad wasn't like really into politics that much. I remember watching like CNN and NBC here and there, like the past time and things like that nature. But yeah, it wasn't really a major thing when I was a kid, so trying to understand oh, okay, hold on guys, I just realized something. Got two different webcams going on here for some reason. Oh no, I see what it is. not the right size for the frame. Alright. So, critically thinking wasn't really pushed or uh, something that was common in my family. Um, I had an aunt that was a psychologist that was really, really smart. You know, we looked into a lot of things and as a kid, like meeting her during uh, different family events and hanging out with her and going and staying with her overnight here and there sometimes. Um, even, like, she didn't really push too much about it or direct me to look into things. I don't remember if this is a thrift car and I'm not a school drive. Um. Alright. Trying to make a new drift car, guys, while I'm talking about this stuff. So, anyway, now that I've grown older and all, um, I've looked, I was in the military, in the California, California National Guard. I was an engine mechanic, worked on helicopters, royally messed that up by throwing a drug test, smoking weed. Got an honorable discharge. But uh, due to that, and ended up on the streets and dealing with a whole bunch of things throughout my life, trying to just find my place and be okay and figure out what I'm going to do now that, you know, I have messed my life up after messing up football, because I was supposed to play football. That didn't happen in college, which I did a year and a half at Fresno State ROTC while in the military while having a full-time job, and it all just compounded and too much. Caused me to start experimenting, looking into things in life, drugs, drinking, trying different things. And with that, I started meeting a lot of different type of individuals from different walks of life, primarily, you know, street people, druggies, um, Friends from high school that had, you know, turned into drugs. 
really bad stuff. Um, just trying to get by. Not really doing anything with my life. Always aspired to be a musician, a rapper, but wasn't really putting anything into it. Couldn't tell you why. Just was in a really bad spot. Got low. And, uh. Started looking into things, conspiracy theories, past the time, went down, trying to find things to put energy towards, trying to, you know, find where my place is again, being a veteran. But feeling kind of lost with that, with what had happened, just feeling cast to the side. And I started looking into things, you know, quote unquote, feeling and woken up or being woke. Um, some of my friends who are um, met that it is really hard, bad stuff. But always mention a looking at conspiracy theories of like many, many different things. Not just aliens, not just like the typical Illuminati, Freemason, uh, government's bad, down with the military and all seeing eye, the, the government, uh, influence, censorship, anything and everything, you know, just talk about it, look into it. And it wasn't until I moved to Arizona, where I currently live now for the last 12 years, since 2011, um, started smoking spice with uh, my ex wife, currently my uh, son, mom, but we're no longer together. Shit was really crazy. But we started looking into things new to it. Smoking spice for a year straight. <laughs> and in my free time, I would just start looking into things. I would look up videos, look into the comments in the videos, look at the forums, just anything and everything. I'm kind of good now, guys. I'm going to try to fix this, see if I can't help it. And, um,. Mandela effects would always pop up. It would be something I, I would notate, but it seemed like a flatter theory to me. It's just like, there's no point. Like, I want to look into things, but there's some things that it's just a waste of time and energy on you know, why. But, being who I am and doing what I do and talking to many variety of different people throughout my life, started looking into stuff like that. One day, I wake up to go get a bottle for myself, because it's like 3 a.m. He's crying, so I wake up. He's like, I don't know, a month old, two months. And, um, there's, there's a bright light through the window. And I'm in the kitchen. We had a window in our kitchen that you could see on the side of the yard. And it, like, looked into the backyard also. So, like, you could see past the backyard into the alley and into, you know, like the stock. And I see this light, and I'm just like, what the hell is that? And it flashes like blue, and then purple, and then orange, and then dies out. And I'm like, oh, okay, that must have been a meteor. This is really working right right now for some reason. Hold on. I think it's because I have OBS open too. Um, I'm just like, what the heck? Okay, finished making my son's bottle. Go back to bed. My girl's like, what the hell is that? I was like, I 
figure the meteor. I, I'm a comet. I, I'm not sure. She's like, oh, I thought it was the truck in the alley. I don't know. Okay. So, go to bed. I wake up next morning. I start looking into Meteor in Tucson, Arizona. That's where I live in Tucson, Arizona. And it's like pictures and images of a meteor, but it's like a missile was chasing the meteor or something. Because there's just a bunch of smoke trails everywhere around it. It's just trippy. I'm just like, what? Okay. And then Mandela effects start popping up on my screen again. Well, okay, let's, let's look at this. And oh boy, did we go down a rabbit hole? I mean, it's like many, many things are changed from how they were previously, but it's just like they're changed out of nowhere, and there's no reasoning, there's no explanation. It's it's just there's there's things that are different, and it's like mm, Home Depot. It's no longer Home Depot, it's THE Home Depot. And if you remember it being Home Depot, you, you just re misremembered because it never was Home Depot. It's always been THE Home Depot. And there, there's no explanation why. But you can still find the old logo here and there without THE, just Home Depot. But you would think, okay, maybe there was like a settlement or like a, a lawsuit because somebody else had a similar name. Businesses will do this. Or sometimes they'll just change the name for brand sake. And I want something different. No, there's nothing like that. So, okay. Let's start looking into other things. Luke, I am your father. It, no, it was, it was never Luke, I am your father. It's no, I am your father. But like I said in the beginning of this, it's back to being Luke, I am your father. But at the time when I'm researching this, and this was like four or five years after I had already researched it three years previously, noticing things change, you couldn't find anything or evidence of any video, even like the old VHS videos of it saying Luke, I am your father. He said, no, I am your father. It's okay, that's interesting. It's not really a big deal. And you start looking at other things, and it's like, changes in the map just don't line up with how maps are in other places. And it's like, okay, maybe different countries print maps different sizes. And it's hard to tell sizes of countries based upon where you live, because every country tries to make their country the best and the biggest. And I'm trying to run all this off the top of my mind. And I'm good sometimes, sometimes I'm not. Right now I'm kind of having issues remembering a lot of this, but there are many videos that are out there look about this. Um, let's see if we can play some more that player real quick. Get on to the tangent of this. I've lost my life connection. Why? We just tried to connect. We should be fine. If you guys got any um, examples, Mandela effects that you've seen that you know about to trip you out, go ahead and drop them. Like I can't go online for some reason. Abysmal. I'm gonna try to restart the game, guys. Wow, oh, you guys don't want to see that. <laughs> All right. Um, and then it's like you'll find stories about. For example, there was 
a girl talking about her mom being uh, prejudiced towards uh, colored people. And it's not cool, and I do not condone that. But for the example of this story, it brings some context. So her mom was prejudiced. She didn't really like hanging out, didn't know colored people. She, she was against it, right? And um, her and her mom go to this, the mall, and she's, she says hi to this lady who's colored and like, like, hey, this is so and so to her daughter. And her daughter's like, okay. And she's, she's, no, I've known this lady. She's my best friend. And it's like, no, mom, okay, that's awesome. I'm happy. Great for, that's not how you were before. And then there's an the example of like, a chick having a sister that she never had before. And again, this could be people having uh, issues with mental problems. I am not able to go online all of a sudden. I changed my use of name earlier. It's, it's, it's not letting me go online now. But over the research and over time looking into things, I stumble upon CERN. It's the uh, large hydrant lighter in Switzerland. And they study atoms, uh, the makeup of the universe through the collision of atoms or molecules at the speed of light, essentially. They speed one up this way, speed another one up the other way. Collide them, creates microscopic black holes, and then they study it. Because through those black holes, through that, they can essentially see the beginning of time when the Big Bang happened, is what they say, what they reference it as. And because of that, I think, essentially, they create little ripples in our reality each time they do that. Because it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of energy. See, CERN runs at 40 TeV when I last researched, and this was a couple of years ago. It could be a lot higher now, but there's been a lot of upgrades and things done to CERN to make it a lot more powerful. And 40 TeV is trillion electric volts. And um, so, to me, it feels like well, what I think that they are doing each time that they do that is unintentionally or inadvertently without them knowing, or maybe they do know, but it's like a uh, collateral damage. It's whatever. We don't know the significance of it, so we might as well just keep doing it until it causes something to impact us each time they do it. And over time... It significantly causes maybe tangents in the timeline. And there's a theory that I ran across that back in, I believe it was 2008 when they first initially turned sun on and it malfunctioned and caused a hole to blow up inside of it. That they essentially were trying to or successfully halt us in our timeline to keep us from the world ending in 2012. Now, again, I look into anything and everything, and um, I always use critical thinking. And sometimes the most random thing can save you or help you throughout life so you know it's like a lot of stuff is just misinformation or BS series and looking into stuff because who knows why but for some reason they don't want us all to know a lot of this stuff technology information that they do know you know water cars for example many 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 years ago was halted by the government. Why? 
they or who knows if it was the government, it might have been big corporations. But somebody caused all the scientists that were looking into coming out with plausible experiments that made hydrogen or water a feasible source for energy for cars. It, it was downplayed and put in the back burner in a suitcase to never be brought out until recently again. And it's like when you look into like uh, weed and like all the strictness and laws on it and how much they've caused it to be halted and um, researched for medical purposes but even therapeutic purposes, rehabilitation. Pain, um, CBD cures for like Tourette's, not cures, but it like highly helps, was highly halted or, you know, propagated against it, allowed to happen due to certain key individuals having the perception or idea that it should be made illegal and be given the name marijuana. And a uh, wise tale should be told about how it changes people and makes them a certain way. You can't function in society. That it should be a schedule one type of drug offense. Just things like that. When it should have never been like that. And there's a lot we are finding in the last five years due to it becoming legal in so many states, scientists, research facilities being able to use it now in their research when it should have been that way the whole time. Like hemp is 10 times stronger than some metals. It can be used as clothes, paper, uh, so many things to build houses, they just did not want that out of it. Who knows why, but, you know, would have had to restructure the whole industry to push that rather than what was already being pushed, plastic, which is bought from China. Who knows? You know, many, many, many things in politics and financial way things and cause things not to happen because one person had something bad happen to them or their kid had something bad happen to them at a party. So now this politician <coughs> or this advocate becomes so passionate about making it this way and everybody else follows along thinking with emotion rather than logic and sensibility. Quite interesting. You know, back to Mandela effect. Gosh, many years that I've been studying about it now, since 2000, and I want to say 2016, 2015, when I first initially started really looking into it, trying to understand what it is talking to researchers at CERN that have worked there, um, theoretical scientists, physicists, other conspiracy theorists. It's really interesting. Nobody has a definitive answer because nobody can say, yes, we know that this is the reasoning and here's proof. There's something going on, I feel like. Everybody knows it. And to focus on it and to pinpoint on it and to make that your only thing that you talk about and think about is quite quite contrary to normal type of logicality and thinking. Which I've learned that over time looking into this stuff and researching things. It's like growing 
you know, you got to have the pathway in your brain to take a step back and intake things rather than emotionally reacting to whatever it is you find that leads you to think that something's altered or became different than what you knew previously. C-3PO had a silver leg. He wasn't all gold. He had a silver leg. That one really tripped me out. I still was just like, hmm? Because he was all gold to me and always has been, and the only time he wasn't gold was when he was the exoskeleton before they put him in the gold um, suit, basically, for being a prize for Luke or Anakin. Yeah, Anakin helped saving the princess. So they, they make him like brand new and they give him all new armor or, you know, shell coating for his body to cover all the electrical parts inside of him that make him move and everything. And he's all full. Well, no, he, well, okay, yeah, but then they, they put a bomb in his leg so that they could blow up the, the, the Death Star and it, it messed up. And so they, I, I don't know. And it's like, there's alternate versions of movies that are recorded in films and then don't get put out. And then that becomes like an alternate version of what really happened in like the meta or like the lore of that universe, that storyline. I just find it interesting. That's one. Oof. You know, when something as a, that you remember as a kid had a really big impact on you and it starts changing, and it's just like, okay, um, uh, we're, we're just gonna go with that because if I try to fight it or I try to argue it, I'm gonna be in a psych ward, taking Seracool for the rest of my life, living my existence out in a straight jacket. <laughs> it's quite interesting, you know. You gotta take everything with a grain of salt, especially when it comes to consciousness and reality, even artificial intelligence with the way they're getting into it and looking into it. And who knows, that could have been the first reasoning and indication of all why Mandel's effect started happening when they started messing with the artificial intelligence on computers. There's another, uh, I feel like, side effect or reasoning that's causing the Mandela effect along with CERN with quantum computers. Freaking artificial intelligence combined with a quantum computer Combine that with CERN, black holes, trying to figure out and study the data and information that comes out of the research that they do. It can only be plausible, logically, to glue to what's really going on. I mean, they may have caused the multiverse theory to happen essentially a big thing again interesting notion it's like those uh like blue spirals in the sky one was seen over switzerland i'm trying to remember another one was seen like you can look up like blue spiral over switzerland or just blue spiral in the sky on YouTube and you'll see these videos and it kind of looks like the SpaceX launch where it's like that blue spiral that came off the, uh, the shuttle they said 
for the uh, Trident missile test that happened like was that five years ago now. And they did it one day. Everybody was tripping out to see it all the way to like the Netherlands. They launched it over um, the ground the first time. And then like two days later it happened again. And this time they launched it over the ocean. And it could be seen across the world again. And then the SpaceX launched. But coincidentally, exactly like it. It was like a year later to like the date, if not a couple days off. Really, really interesting. Wow. I am not able to drift right now for some reason. It's not a, like a little lag issue on my screen, but I'm just trying to deal with it. What up, mate? Appreciate you coming in the chat. Uh, uh, putting pop 411. Oh, you got a party of five rating me? Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, yeah, and I got videos of like all this stuff. I try to keep tabs on things that I find interesting to key on a YouTube chaotic dot news. And then I got this channel, and I got my main everyday live. Battery Tunnel channel. I got Chaotic One channel for my music. That, yeah. I've done a lot of stuff over the years. Just looking into stuff, learning things. My main thing is being a musician, a rapper. I play guitar and make beats. Um, I've also been an activist, been a part of protests. Well, being a veteran, being passionate about people having the right to speak freely, the right to bear arms, protect themselves from entities that could do the harm even if it is their own government, if it's not thinking about the people, if it's the people should be the number one priority. Sometimes they need a reminder. Sometimes politicians, individual entities become corrupt and don't see what's most important. We, instead of me or you, that's one of the major things that I try to push. It's not about me, it's not about you, it's about me. But yeah, back to Mendel effects. Um, a lot of them. You can find the list, lots of videos out there, people talking about what they've seen, different occurrences. And see, one thing that I found interesting when I was looking into it, what a lot of people talk about is like a near-death experience that happens before they start noticing <coughs> certain uh, changes or things that have happened in their life that they just don't understand what's going on, why people are treating them the way they are. I mean, it could be something that goes along with game stalking too, and psychological uh, psyop operation that somebody's using to cause you to feel like your reality just is crazy, causing you to go cuckoo, so that the people around you will no longer listen to you because you've honed in on something that a certain group of people, corporation, entity, just don't want out there. And it could be information about ah, anything. Nowadays, freaking private businesses and corporations are so powerful, you can do so many things with the internet, that you, you just can't put conspiracy theories or this notion about something away anymore. You gotta be willing and able to open your mind up to things, especially with our artificial intelligence and drones and projected uh, simulation, kind of like a Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, what is it? Project Bluebeam, 
where they were like trying to test creating uh, cities in the cloud. And there's videos of like people seeing it, like, what the heck is that? And you know they gotta be doing it with UFOs. And there's a lot of speculation, a lot of talk, chatter about a fake alien invasion. Who knows? You know, it's, as a veteran, you know, it's uh, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. You always hope that the worst doesn't happen, but to prepare for the worst, you gotta look into the worst. And with these things, it can become very overwhelming, very uh, overbearing. You know, you gotta take your time with it like a sponge, your brain can only take so much information once it reaches a certain point it's going to do one or two things it's going to break or it's going to expand and sometimes expanding the muscle you can tear it that's the way I view it but you got to be able to work your brain out and use it daily so that you don't lose it later on in your life when you get older when it can no longer like essentially regenerate itself so all the brain cells that you have that's all you got you're not creating any more not creating any more neurons any more uh, firing mechanisms Good to meditate you know, always take time to uh, think about things how it affected you how it could affect somebody else why is the person acting a certain way express to them that you do not like it that you prefer that this way and if they don't want to intake it and respect you then that's that they can, they can go treat somebody else like that. Well, you don't have to deal with that. Even with family, you know, family is blood. But family can be a very negative thing on you if family doesn't know how to communicate, treat you like the person that they love, with respect, you know. When it comes to uh, Looking into things, conspiracy theories, a lot of my family was very close, not shut up, even wanting to be around me, talk to me, because it's like a lot of these uh, events that happen with uh, shooters, mass shooters, people that decide that it's okay to go and hurt other individuals because they're having problems in their life. And when you look into things, you start to noticing coincidences with those, but that's neither here nor there, that's not what we're going to talk about. But a lot of it has to do with, you know, the family closing them off or sending them off, um, not knowing how to talk to them, not wanting to look into things with them, so then they feel confined, like they're in a cave, so then they start looking for individuals or people out there that do think like them, or that even just want to talk, and they stumble upon a person that's radicalized, or that thinks very, very emotionally, or very one-sided about something, close-minded. And so then they start doing the same thing. One thing leads to another, and bam, you know? I feel like, that's my opinion. Things that I've found over time researching, talking to people. It's really interesting. You know, I myself, like I said, my family closed me off. But then, you know, like, my sister and my mom were really open to it. And over time, understood that I just like looking into things. I've got a different way of understanding. That I prepare for the worst, hope for the best, being a veteran, but also being a person that loves helping people and the best way you can help other individuals is to have knowledge 
you know, a random thing can help save you or save a person. You don't know. Oh, I see. I'm actually doing kind of decent right now with this car. I want to play online, but for some reason, after changing my screen name, it says that I can't join online right now, so it may take a day for it to sync again. I might have to look into it after this stream and figure out what's going on. Well, yeah, like I was saying in the beginning of the stream, it's been a while since I talked about Mandela Effect, so I just wanted to do another stream on it, a discussion. I find a lot of uh, anything to do with quantum mechanics, with quantum effect, Mandela Effect, Deja Vu, Dreams, uh, Reality, Consciousness, things like that very very intriguing and interesting artificial intelligence especially especially with how much it's advanced in the last five years five years ago when i looked into it it was just a notion like we think we can create it but we don't know how theoretically it's possible to we don't know how we're going to get there. And then they started creating quantum computers. And then it was like, oh, well, no, we've had them. We've had quantum computers since uh, World War II. That, that's how we broke the Enigma code. And essentially won World War II. And uh, we essentially knew exactly what was going to happen before it was going to happen. But we had to allow it to happen because we would have prevented it from happening. And they would have known that we were doing that, and they would have changed the code, so... <laughs> that is really interesting. That's what the whole, uh, the Turing experiment, I think it's called, about uh, Adam Turing, the creator of a quantum computer. And a lot of people will say, like, that's not a quantum computer, that's a very simplistic da 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 not yet. Yeah, that's a quantum computer essentially to the basic form. So that's what it is doing. It's running simultaneous simulations all at the same time and then giving you the best result of what it thinks from the data of what you should could do. And if you do this, this will happen. Or this will happen, or this will happen. It'll run a simulation. And the quantum computer nowadays does that millions and millions of simu simulations simultaneously at the same time within a millisecond. It says, okay, here, here's the best answer for what you were looking for. Kind of like what Chat GPT does. But see, that's just, from what I've gathered, an algorithm. That's not even quantum computer unless it it mm, I should look up the structure of that actually if anybody knows is it plugged into a quantum computer or is that what runs the algorithm and I wouldn't think that it would be able to process all the questions and everything that it does the prompts simultaneously as it does on a level with one individual but on a worldwide scale without it having some type of high computing power like that. Interesting. Hmm. I have a ChatGBT, the paid version of it, the subscription. And oh man, that thing is powerful. It can do a lot of good things, but I see a lot of negative things coming from it also. From people wanting to do malicious stuff. Deep fakes, for example. This is insane what people are doing with uh, fake Joe Rogan commercials or 
that's, I, I don't even want to get into it because you start giving people ideas on what they can do with things that they haven't thought about before and, and that's not what I'm about. And I come up with ideas all the time. Really, really good ideas. Just don't have the means to execute on a lot of them because of my financial status limitation of things going on. Working really, really hard on changing that full-time student at the University of Phoenix. But it is what it is. Oh gosh. Oh, that's messed up where I leave right there. Alright, let's see if we can do some other. Multiplayer. If not, I'm gonna call the stream right now. And I'll probably be on later. I'm getting a lot of messages on Facebook. I gotta check. I don't know what it is about people not wanting to actually reply to messages when it comes to my music. They just wanna, you know, give like a thumbs up emoji. Okay, we all know how to use conversation. Or words like you do with a an actual artist, you know. Hey, what I you know. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great day. Never bored of game gaming. Stream daily. Try to at least two hours a day. Most of the time, I'm streaming with my uh, girlfriend to my left. So you keep saying I lost my life connection. So I don't know what's going on with that, but much love, guys. Drop a comment. What's your guys' trippy is Mandela effect? Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, whatever platform you are watching on. It's chaotic. Peace out. Much love.